Hello all y'all furries out there and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about is how to become a furry. I know there are lots of popular videos about other people who are actual furries that I talked about and said how to become a furry. Well you know what? If you say, what is a furry? What is a furry though? Yeah, I just want to know what is a furry. So, what a furry is, is that it's basically known as anthropomorphic animals. You know, like the animals that give out human-like qualities. Furries, as an example. Simba from The Lion King is a furry. Super Cow from Cow and Chicken is a furry. I Am Weasel from I Am Weasel is a furry. Earthworm Jim's a furry. And also, Humphrey from Alpha and Omega is a furry. And don't forget Bonkers, too. Bonkers the Bobcat's a furry from Disney's Bonkers. So, you ask yourself this and you ask yourself this, how do I become a furry? Well, it's simply easy. All you have to do is just make up your own character. Draw your, make up your own character. Draw your own character. Or draw any characters on what you like. Now, does it all have to be? Does all the mascots have to be your favorite cartoon? No. You just like your cartoon, okay? You just like your cartoon. I'm saying this because you know what? You won't even get yourself confused. You won't even get yourself confused whether you like your cartoons or not. But it doesn't possibly have to be like you could dress yourself as your own favorite cartoon character. You just like it. Do you have to be wearing your favorite cartoon mascots? No. Do you have to be? You don't know, like dressing up as your own favorite cartoons? No. You just like it. You just like your own cartoon. Now say this as an example. So my favorite um, so my favorite cartoon network show is Cow and Chicken. And do I ever disguise myself as Cow and Chicken? No. I just like it. But you know what? I had this well, you know what? Designing your own cartoon, well, your own character, is known as persona. What is a persona, you say? A persona is your own character, is your own furry. Where furries make their own personas, like they would just draw them out, or what their textures of their fur would look like, or what the colors of your fur would look like, or what type of animal you like, or even what your favorite cartoons are like. So, drawing out your own favorite cartoon characters doesn't have to be based off of a cartoon. It could be based off of yourself or even your own favorite animal. Now, it doesn't all have to be anime. It could be possibly like cartoons or even real life. Now, it doesn't have to be a cartoon show. It could be possibly like movies. For some furry movies, as an example, Scooby-Doo is a furry, um, Poe from Kung Fu Panda is a furry, and also Donkey from Shrek is a furry. Now, creating your own persona doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be based off of a cartoon, it just could be based off of yourself. Now, as an example, as my own persona, now she's an Arctic Cox, like how I am right now. She's an Arctic Cox, and you know what? She's an Arctic Fox and a cow hybrid. But when I started liking cow and chicken, I basically, I basically combined this for this persona, like her, like an Arctic Fox. And also the character cow from Cow and Chicken together. So I have hooves that are 
floppy and have paw prints in them as you see and has a tail and has a tail which I don't have right now because you know what doesn't matter with your own facilities anyways can furries kill that number two could furries actually be sexual you may ask well to me I don't find furries sexual I just find it that they're adorable and cute but what on the dark spectrum of the furries is that it could possibly be meant to be for sexual activities or something like that but it does it all doesn't have to be this way because you know what and guess what if, an, if anyone likes a furry there's one secret word Shh, that you shouldn't tell anyone it's called yesterday now, I'm not going to ask you what the word yipping means because most of your furries know what it is. So, just don't tell anybody. Now, number three. What do furries have to look like? Well, it could possibly be your favorite animal or your favorite colors or also etc. Now, all furs don't have to be all of the same animals. It doesn't have to be just only one animal. It could be like multiple type of animals, like a hybrid. Even a, if you want to be a liger, you just, you just combine a lion and a tiger, and then you make it as a liger. Or if you want to be a penguin and a dragon, it's called a pangon. Because, you know, it's a dragon and a penguin hybrid. But for mine, mine is an Arctic fox. And also the character cow from Cow and Chicken. So I combined one of these together. And then I just had a good idea setting. So that's why I have hooves and a tail that looks exactly like a cow. Now, now on the other hand... You may never find find on what animal it is, but you just make it up as a name. Now, here's other here's a one more question. Can furries actually be so tremendously cute? Well, all furs don't have to be tremendously cute. They'd be just like, you know, haunting and terrifying. But other kids find it it's just terrifying. Like here in Texas. Because you know what? I'm not supposed to wear it, this mask anywhere in public. Because you know what? It's a safety thing. Because so, people need to see your face. Okay? People really need to see your face. Now, let's talk about the most popular furry of all time. Telephone. The Dutch Angel Dragon as an example. Now, basically, furries do not... Doesn't they all don't have to talk? They could just like chirp or make sudden noises or whatever to be able to get people's cute attention. Now, telephone has an example. She makes she makes the most adorable chirping, as you get very adored. And even though she's very cute, a cute angel dragon, Dutch angel dragon. So anyways, that's it for the video for today. Hope you guys subscribe to this channel. And I forgot to say good morning because today is the morning. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.